Investment has to come, and this is why 150 billion euro in our investment plan are designated for Africa. We call it Global Gateway. They are aimed at the African continent. Global Gateway supports investments ranging from hydropower plants in the DRC, Burundi, Rwanda, and Tanzania, to the 1 billion euro initiative on climate adaptation and resilience in Africa, which we announced at COP27. I, I remind this August gathering that Africa mobilized its own resources rather than extend hands for handouts that may aggravate the existing situation by inviting interference and corrupt practices while mobilizing our own resources will be enabling and motivating creativity at the level of the continent. I urge everyone to not be attracted by the billions that are being promised by so-called donors, rather we would like to mobilize our own resources and get away from this dependency that will definitely compromise everything at the level of the country. And Global Gateway is unique in the global investment landscape. We're not only interested in extracting resources, we want to partner with you to create local value chains, to create good jobs here in Africa. We want to share European te technology with you. We want to invest in skills for local workers. This is crucial for the young people. Because the stronger you are as suppliers, the more Europe will diversify supply chains towards Africa, and the more we both will de-risk our economies. It's a clear win-win. Try to talk about some of the issues mentioned on, on this summit. These billions coming to this continent from anywhere, Europe, America, or any other place, you are inviting inter, uh, intervention in your own affairs. And this money coming from there, by billions and billions, will be siphoned back there. Make sure that you mobilize your own resources so that you can be enabled to benefit from resources coming from outside. The promises of billions are not good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.